Okay, so we've just created a binary grid using Map Algebra Raster Calculator of Elevation, where we queried the grid for elevation greater than or equal to 200 meters and have a grid of zeros and ones. Now, our next criteria are finding those grid cells that have a slope greater than or equal to 30%. Well, before we can do that, we have to actually calculate slope. We're going to spend more time on this next week, but just as a Quick introduction. The slope command is under Spatial Analyst Tools Surface and double click slope. If the tool doesn't come up, make sure that you go to Customize Extensions and make sure Spatial Analyst is checked. If it's not checked, you won't be able to license the tool. That's your quick fix. So make sure that's checked and you have your slope tool. The input raster is make sure that you select the digital elevation model because we want to calculate slope from the DEM. The output raster I'm going to call SLPPCT because I want my slope to be in percent. More next week. Because I want it to be in percent, it is very important that I change my output measurement to percent rise. Everything else is fine. So our input raster is the Laguna Beach DEM lag DEM. Our output raster is SLPPCT for slope in percent, percent rise. Click OK, and here we go. Here's our slope grid. I'm going to deconstruct and explain more about what these values mean, and maybe you're asking how can slope percent be greater than 100%. I'm so glad you're concerned about that because I'm going to tell you about that all next week. But for now, we have a beautiful continuous grid where every grid cell represents slope. I'm going to explain what that is next week. Uh, between uh, at where every grid cell represents slope, and it's a continuous grid, and we want to query this continuous grid by going into our raster calculator and finding just those grid cells that are greater than or equal to 30% slope, because that is our criteria for our landslide hazard. So back to map algebra, raster calculator construct the query, the raster calculator, slope percent SLP PCT greater than or equal to 30. And my output raster, I will call SLP GT 30 for greater than slope greater than 30. I'm going to click OK. And here I have another binary grid where I've taken my beautiful <laughs> continuous grid and converted it into an order uh, and con converted it into a discrete grid of zeros and ones. And I can change this zero to no color. And I click OK. And here I have grid cells where if they are one, they are on slopes that I've designated as steep, meaning greater than or equal to 30%. If you start to see the pattern here, uh, or the idea here, these are my cells, my grid cells, that are high elevation. So if I add these two together, any grid cell that is equal to a two is gonna fall on both a steep slope and a high elevation, and those would be my higher uh, level of hazard or, or designated hazard because they both fall on those two criteria. But we're not done. The next step is to convert our land use file to a grid and then query that grid. So that will be the next step in the lab.